Machine learning or artificial intelligence is one of the hottest trends and the hottest developments in the enterprise software space. Well, what exactly is machine learning and artificial intelligence? I'm gonna talk about that here today. My name is Eric Kimberling and I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients through their digital transformation journeys. And as organizations look to technology to drive their digital transformations, artificial intelligence and machine learning are two trends and two technologies that many organizations turn to. It's something that's been around for a while, it's been developing for some time, but the question we often get from clients is what exactly is machine learning and what exactly is artificial intelligence? And that's what I want to provide an answer to here today. As I mentioned, machine learning and AI or artificial intelligence have been around for a long time. They're technically not the same thing, but they're often used interchangeably. And machine learning is generally viewed as a subset of artificial intelligence. And probably the simplest example of artificial intelligence in machine learning would be on your phone. If you use Siri or Alexa as a voice recognition type of command approach, that is oftentimes viewed as machine learning because it's learning your voice, it's learning the diction of the way you talk, and it also learns how to pick up on what it is you're, you're looking for. And over time, the technology learns from its mistakes and it learns to optimize and continuously improve how it recognizes your voice and how it addresses your commands, if you will. So that's a real basic consumer technology example of how machine learning and AI works. But when we look at enterprises in general and business technology, machine learning and artificial intelligence are also being incorporated into those technologies as well. And essentially what the technology does is it takes data and it takes business processes throughout your organization and it learns from the data. It learns the patterns, it learns what's happening, it learns what is transpiring with some of the transactions and workflows and data sets that you have throughout your organization. And a predecessor to machine learning and AI was once known as predictive analytics. So predictive analytics would try to predict the future based on the past and looking at the processes and the data sets that your organization has. So machine learning and AI is an extension or an evolution of predictive analytics to where now it's more proactively learning to optimize and to make better sense and better use of data to where it can actually help you make decisions and in some cases make decisions for you as part of your organization. So I had mentioned the real simple example of AI and machine learning with your phone and the voice recognition on your phone. Within organizations, machine learning and AI is being built into enterprise technology such as ERP systems, HCM systems, et cetera. And some examples of where we're starting to see machine learning and AI be used would be in situations like, for example, accounts payable processing. So if you're an accounts payable clerk, right now you may be manually approving and releasing payment for different invoices that you receive. Machine learning would enable you to automate that process to where it recognizes the normal transactions and normal processes and it's smart enough to know and to learn where the anomalies are and where the potential red flags are. So in other words, instead of focusing on approving every invoice for payment, machine learning would automatically approve invoices that fall within a certain threshold and it would learn to flag those invoices or those transactions that look out of line with history. So over time, it learns what normal means and what the thresholds and the different parameters are within your accounts payable processes so that it can learn when to approve the processes and when to reject those invoices and to require human intervention. So that's one example. Another example is in supply chain management. A lot of ERP systems and supply chain management technologies will take data from throughout the supply chain to try and anticipate where potential bottlenecks might be to where you might need to shift your production to other vendors or to other parts of the world. It can start to recognize peaks in demand to where it might put strains on your supply chain so that even things that humans can't anticipate, your technology is learning to anticipate based on past history and experience 
And the longer you use that technology, the more likely it is to help optimize your supply chain. Another example of a use case of how machine learning and AI is used in many organizations is in helping forecast demand and looking at different data points, both within the organization and outside the organization to figure out and determine what the things are that are gonna drive demand up and what might cause demand to be softer than expected. And that's a way for technology to really learn and to anticipate how your demand is going to look from your customers, which then also feeds into the supply chain management and the accounts payable process that I mentioned earlier as well. So these are just three real basic, simple examples. It's not simple technology, but they're basic examples that might be relatable to you as an organization of how machine learning and AI can help enable some of your business processes via this new technology. Now a caveat and a prerequisite to effective machine learning and AI is gonna be to have good data. If you don't have good data within your organization, if your data is corrupt, if the data is not accurate, then your machine learning and your AI is going to be inaccurate as well. So data is always important to any sort of technology initiative, but it's especially important if you're truly gonna take advantage of these machine learning and AI capabilities. Now this goes for not only the initial migration of your data into the system in the first place, but it also involves and requires you as an organization to ensure that your employees are maintaining that data well and keeping the data clean. So in other words, you don't wanna just move the data over to your new system and then your end users and employees are corrupting the data, in which case the machine learning and AI is gonna be as reliable as your, your dirty data might be. So it's really important to not only have clean data brought over to the new technology, but also to make sure that over time, you're basing your machine learning and AI functions on data that's being maintained and preserved and ideally optimized over time. So having an effective data strategy is a very important predecessor and prerequisite to taking full advantage of machine learning and artificial intelligence. Now, while data is very important in ensuring that you take full advantage of machine learning and AI, what's even more important and the biggest requirement in order to take advantage of machine learning and AI is organizational change management. So in other words, ensuring that you're helping people, employees within your organization, navigate their way through this post machine learning and AI world. And what I mean by that is it's one thing to say that we've got technology that can help automate some processes and help create this machine learning environment, but it's another thing to actually change your processes and change your people to enable that technology. We see a lot of organizations that have the capabilities technologically to take advantage of machine learning and artificial intelligence, but people resist the change. And if you think about the source of resistance, it's because people are afraid. People are afraid of the fact that now technology can do what many people have spent their entire careers doing. Now you're automating that through technology. And in many cases, machine learning and AI is creating a learning environment and an optimized environment that's even more effective than what humans can do. And that's very scary if you've built an entire career or your whole sense of self-worth is based on doing those processes yourself. So it's very important to redefine what people's roles are. It's not enough just to say, we're gonna put in machine learning and AI and we'll figure out the rest later. We need to redefine what people are gonna do in parallel with this machine learning and AI world. And so it may be a matter of assigning new responsibilities. It may be a matter of taking the inputs or managing the exceptions from the machine learning and focusing on more decision-making and more strategic business processes. And that, on the other hand, can be very exciting for people when they realize that we're gonna let a machine handle some of the more mundane processes, and we're gonna let you, the human or the employee, are going to handle these new tasks and responsibilities and what your role is going to look like with these new tool sets that might be available to you. So just to build on the example I talked about before with accounts payable processing and the machine learning there focused on kicking back exceptions to the humans rather than the massive volumes of day-to-day -day approvals, now we have to figure out what that accounts payable clerk is gonna do with their time. In addition to managing exceptions, maybe there's more strategic focus on procurement processes or payment terms or things that can help the company from a strategic perspective 
those are the sorts of things we have to figure out is what are people's jobs going to look like in the future and how can we help migrate people to this future state in a way that's not going to create too much fear and anxiety around using these new technologies. So the more we can focus on organizational change management, the more likely it is we're going to be able to take full advantage of technologies like machine learning and AI. So I hope this has given you an overview of what machine learning is and what AI is and how it can be used to enable improved business processes within your organization. And hopefully this is part of your bigger picture quest to understand digital transformation. And for that, I've included a link below to our 2021 Digital Transformation Report, which provides best practices on how to drive a successful digital transformation. It also includes more information and top 10 rankings on the technologies out there in the marketplace that can best enable some of your digital transformation goals and initiatives. So I encourage you to check out that link below, download that, that white paper. And I'd love to hear any feedback and experience that you have with using machine learning and AI. So any experiences you have, either good or bad or positive or negative, I'd love to hear your feedback. So please provide comments below. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day.